let's talk about what will happen if you stop your GLP-1. I'm Tiffany, I am a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 advocate. So I help people get access to GLP-1s that can't get them through traditional insurance. So if that's something that you are struggling with, there are some links over here in my bio that hopefully can help you out. So as a healthcare provider, I get asked this question quite a bit. What happens if I have to go off of my GLP-1? Or do I have to take GLP-1s forever? So let's talk more about that. So because of the long duration of action of this medication, if you discontinue, it normally takes one to two weeks for the medication to clear out of your system. If you're having side effects like nausea or constipation, those will usually dissipate over the first one to two weeks after your last shot. But appetite usually starts to return. And a lot of times for people that happens pretty quick, usually within the first seven to 14 days after you've stopped, then your appetite will return. Now within the first one to three months after stopping, your metabolism tends to shift back to pre-GLP-1 levels. So weight gain happens. It happens to about 50% of people within the first one to three months. Now it's important to note that this is without lifestyle changes. So in a study that was done in 2022, two out of three people regained at least 50% of their weight after they'd been off a of GLP-1 for a year. What we don't know is did those people really implement the lifestyle changes and dietary changes that they were supposed to do? We don't know. So the major takeaway here is that GLP-1s work wonderfully while you're taking them, but in the event that you discontinue or you lose coverage and you're no longer able to take them, most of the time the effects will reverse. So if you ever need to discontinue, you gotta do it with a plan if you don't plan on gaining back your weight. This has to include making sure you prioritize your protein and your fiber to help manage your hunger. Make sure you're doing some form of strength training to help make muscle mass. And lastly, working with your provider to work on a transition strategy instead of just stopping cold turkey. Now, at the end of the day, a lot of people, even if they get to their goal weight, stay on a GLP-1 for maintenance. And that's what this journey might look like for you. Maintenance dosing looks different for every patient, but in order to not regain weight, a lot of people choose maintenance dosing. So that might be something that you want to look into. If you're losing coverage and you do not want to stop your GLP-1, there are some options here in my profile on ways you can get your GLP-1 without insurance coverage. So if you need it, please check those out.